go there, face that fear, face the beliefs around that, face what does that mean for me? There's a bit of an illusion which is um, heavily formed in 3D reality that to get anywhere significant in any life you need to have a form of consistency, um, trustworthiness, a form of something people know you by, something they can rely on and something that moves you forward like stepping stones in building your life and a lot of us, all of us have been trained that way. The team is immediately bringing forth that as you raise in your ascension consciousness, as you raise in your consciousness, ground more of your spirit here and do more of your mission. And this is stuff, if you want, write this down because you may not remember all of it from the session and you can kind of be more in the session as you just write keywords for yourself. See how that works for you. But one to potentially jot down is be continually, and that means almost every moment, certainly every day, be willing to reinvent yourself. Be willing to take some risks and chances, try some things out. And if something doesn't work or feel good, what did last week and it doesn't this week, guess what? You change it. What we learn in 3D is you can't do that. If you, for instance, as an example, start a certain business, let's say a holistic practice, and what you offer is massage and you sell crystals at the counter, as an example. And then after six months into the lease of one year, you want to change. Well, everybody's come to know you as that service. You're just getting a little bit of business running, so you often stick with things because that's what you do. But what we are here to tell you now and what the teams are here to share is feel fully free and start feeling fully free to change yourself all the time. There is no need for you to be who someone else thinks that you were. Now, the other side of that is, it's okay to be consistent. You know, one of the things that's just an example we found is, We've had to learn to be consistent in, let's say, our YouTube video sharing, our meditation sharing. And so why? Because that helps us and it helps people who want to tune into what we have to share. So it doesn't mean become messy. It doesn't mean become unstructured. But it does mean allow yourself to peel yourself back all the time. If you no longer want to sell crystals in this example, then start selling high frequency books. If you don't want to do that five weeks later, change it up again. If you get bored of doing massage and you really feel you want to do Reiki and acupuncture, then do that. But try to remain consistent in your communication and let people know what's going on. Now a lot of people who are still stuck in 3D won't understand, but guess what? Those might not be the people that you want to attract. So really acknowledge that your spirit, your teams are communicating to you what is in perfect alignment for you. What we notice a lot is we have an interest for a short amount of time, let's say a few weeks, and we really go super deep into that interest or that new area, and then it changes. And we're like, well, it's time to change something. And that can be a hobby or something our family enjoys or something that we enjoy sharing about on, for instance, YouTube or whatever. But when it changes again, we flow with that. So that's one big key right there, is to have the courage to constantly reinvent yourself and what you're putting out in the world. Why? Because all the energies around you are constantly changing as well. The collective consciousness is morphing and you are here as a high density starseed to do your mission. So your team is continually watching what's happening in the landscape, what is now relevant, where one week this path is relevant, the next week this path is relevant. And so by continually flowing with that, you're going to be the happiest and you're going to be most successful at actually doing what you came here to do, which is your mission. And it's not to have a normal life. And it's not to have everything safe and sound for when you retire at 65. It doesn't mean, though, another little thing coming in, 
that you're silly about it. It doesn't mean you don't use your brain. It doesn't mean you don't have backup funding. It doesn't mean you've got to live in on the edge of the now all the time. It just means be smart about things. It just means use your wits, but let go of what it needs to be in 10, 20, 30, 40 years. Because guess what? Life is going to be very different then. The world is going to be very different then. There's probably going to be a lot of ETs walking around by then. Mm -hmm. Just to throw in another subject. <laughs> so what you are planning for is based on a very old 3D model of control. And so one of the fourth density keys to actually anchor yourself more permanently in fourth density, to raise to that bandwidth where that reality is your reality, is to let go of anything planned and fixed towards the future that is based on old models. But the opposite side of that is always use your smarts. Always make sure you have your safety buffers. Always make sure that it feels comfortable and in alignment. It's like when you go on a trip, you can't take your whole house. You need to decide what to put in your suitcase so you'll have a good and comfortable time. Let's say you're going away for three weeks to travel Europe. Then you need to decide what you leave at home and what you take. If you take too much, it's going to be too heavy. And if you don't take enough, then you'll be uncomfortable. That's how the fourth density journey can be seen. Take enough so that you're comfortable and safe but you can't take it all. So be willing to continually let go and let go and reinvent yourself and reinvent yourself. And it's okay because consistency is necessary for people to feel your signature, but it's not necessary to hold strong to what decisions you once made. Mm. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah. So to add on to that, it's a little like living many lifetimes within one lifetime as a higher density star seed um, or just a higher consciousness being you can move through things at a faster rate so something uh, you know that someone else would move through in 20 years you can move through in a three month process or a two year process depending on you know your level of letting go really because uh, like Sakal said you know we can get in and absolutely experience something in life and then say yeah yeah we got that and really get the lessons from it get the satisfaction from it get the expansion from it uh, and the philosophy around it and it's like okay that lifetime's done I'm, I'm off to the next lifetime literally every three months six months whatever it is be willing to allow yourself to as they call it reinvent but to just just peel off and be the next because this 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 is all hologram you know it's not it's not as real as, as that inner heart flame that that pillar that you're experiencing, that source energy, this is a version of it. This is, you know, the reflection of it. However, you get to play and, and to not go by the rules of the matrix of the society and allow yourself to really feel through the dense energy of the must do's and the shoulds and the but people will think and but I promised and but I did a four degrees so I need to keep doing this. Uh, I, 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 I have dedicated myself to this so I need to stick with it. I have done this so I have to do you know or I can't do that because I'm not educated enough. I can't do that because I don't have enough money. I can't do that because I don't have enough love. I can't do that because there will be nobody there for me. If I say that to those people, I will lose them, even though I don't really like enjoy being with them, but they're the only, you know, family I have. They're the only friends that I have. You know, if you don't let go and make the space, then that new can't come in. Um, and so it's, as Sakal said, you know, comfort, you know, I always bring the other side of that. Sometimes it's really uncomfortable, devastatingly raw, naked for everyone to see mm. all the flaws, all of the issues, all of, you know, just absolute breakdown of seemingly, seemingly a breakdown of who you are, what people think of you, maybe people thoroughly disliking you because of your choices, mm. thinking you're crazy. Why would you leave 
such a brilliant job. Why would you sell such a perfect house and move to that crappy thing so that you don't have to work as much? Why would you let go of this friend group? Why would you do these things and they pound and pound and the pathways in your brain are, oh, what was I taught as a kid when they're stressed like this? Okay, do what they say, fit back in, do, you know, oh, oh, maybe they're right, maybe they're right. I'm just having one of my emotional pulls into my hippie alternative ways. Yeah, okay, back to stable. I should be stable. I'll keep going. I'll, I'll, I'll hold on. I'll be strong, you know? Um, it's really, it's, it's, it's the opposite. It's, it's the finding that deep courage to go so deep that you're nearly terrified. And, and that's when you know you're hitting on a good spot. You're, you're hitting on that place where, okay, so if there's terror there, then this must be big. If there's such deep beliefs there, then I need to do something to flip it the other way. And that's why we love to go, let's go worst case scenario, you know, with, with our clients. Yeah. Go there, face that fear, face the beliefs around that face. What does that mean for me? Who am I without them? Who are they without me? All of that going worst case scenario, worst case scenario. So I'd like to throw you one right now.